Here we are at week number seven, lucky number seven of the NFL, week seven of the 2024 NFL season. Uh, let's go do my picks for week seven, but first let's do a quick week six recap. And this is going to be a very quick recap because week six went really well for me. You know why? Because if you all trusted me, you all would have gone 13 and one, which is weird because a lot of my uh, people in the league I'm in right now went 14 and 0. Uh... Here's what happened in week six. The Niners beat the Seahawks on Thursday Night Football. I, I chose that game. The Bears beat the Jags in London. I Yeah, I chose that. Unfortunately, the Bucks beat the Saints. That was a weird game. It was very, it was very funny because the Bucks were whooping ass in the beginning. Then the Saints took the lead be- right before halftime. And then everything just fell apart for the Saints as the Buccaneers whooped ass again. I chose the Eagles to beat the Browns in a very ugly game, and Nick Sirianni was uh, yelling at the fans on the sidelines. That was funny. I chose the Ravens to beat the Commanders, and that happened. Very close, very competitive game. I chose the Packers to beat the Cardinals, and Jordan Love is a beast. He, He threw one of the coolest throws I've ever seen. It was It was basically a fuck it, someone's down there. As he was falling to the ground, he fucking yeeted it. And it was a touchdown. Awesome. I chose the Colts to beat the Titans. Joe Flacco is still our king. Will Levis sucks. I'm sorry. I chose the Texans to beat the Patriots. And they whooped ass 41-21. to <sighs> I chose the Steelers to beat the Raiders. And that happened 32-13. to It was a pretty ugly close game in the beginning. With some stupid flags to bail out the Steelers. A stupid roughing the passer call that wasn't roughing the passer. That bailed them out of an interception. Another roughing the passer call, which I'm iffy on. I think it was. But at the same time, the Raiders didn't help themselves out by sucking all game. Picks and fumbles really fucked us up. Especially when uh, we had a nice run all the way to the goal line. And instead of running the ball in the next play, we could have threw a challenge flag to hopefully get the touchdown because it looked really damn close. But we fumbled on the one yard line and they had a nice, the Steelers had a nice return. And then another fumble happened and then it was, it was just bad. It was bad, bad, bad. Raiders suck. My Raiders suck. And then this is the only game I lost this week. I chose the Broncos to beat the Chargers. The Chargers whooped their ass all day. And the the second I had faith in Bo Nix, he fucking does this. Fuck the Broncos. Also, fuck the Chargers too. But more especially, fuck the Broncos. Then I chose the Falcons to beat the Panthers. It wasn't close. 38-20. to This made up for everything. I chose the Lions to beat the Cowboys. And they... Fucking whooped their ass 47 to 9 on Jerry Jones' birthday. That was awesome to see. And you know, fuck the Cowboys. Get Dak out of there, please. He 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 needs to go somewhere like the Titans. Then I chose the Bengals to beat the Giants on what looked like a very boring Sunday night football game. And then I chose the Bills to beat the Jets on Monday night football, and that was Pretty close for comfort. Um, it was the first game without head coach Robert Sala, the Jets. Aaron Rodgers had his per usual Hail Mary to bail him out at the end or at the at halftime. And then it just it just wasn't a it didn't look like a very competitive close game from what I saw. I kind of fell asleep every now and then, but you know the the Bills won and now the Jets have Devontae Adams, but I don't think that's gonna help them out. So, let's finally move on to my week 7 pick. Starting off with Thursday Night Football. The Broncos going up against the Saints at New Orleans. Um, I'm very conflicted on who to choose here. Because the Saints had a very strong 2-0 start. Then they collapsed with four losses in a row. Very close losses up until last week. Then, the Broncos... Had a pretty ugly start, and then they started revving it back up, and then they got whooped by 
uh, Justin Herbert and the Chargers. Um, Spencer Rattler had his first start as a Saint. As a Saint, um, he looked fine. He looked good in the first half, and then everything just fell downhill from there. And I know everyone's saying, "Oh, Spencer Rattler's coming for that first, uh, that first QB." Spencer Rattler's not going to give up that QB one spot. I know, I know, Carr's going to be out for multiple games. He's not going to be able to play this game. It sucks. And because of that, and because of all the injuries that they're dealing with, it looks like Rashid Shahid and Chris Olave is not going to start, as well as Taysom Hill. I just want to make sure that Olave and uh, Shahid aren't starting because that is a big fucking blow. Yep. Both Olave and Shahid are out, the two best receivers. So all they have are like Bubba Means. They don't even have Taysom Hill. So because of all the injuries that they're dealing with, they're going to rely heavily on the run game and Spencer Rattler trying to scramble, make something happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm choosing the Broncos to win. Yeah, that's going to suck. Then we got the Patriots visiting the Jags for another uh, London game. Why? The, the London must think the Jags are like the coolest football team ever because they go they go to London every fucking year. But I'm choosing the Jags because it it was a pretty close game last week. Uh, the Jags and the Bears. No, no, it wasn't close. It's just that the Jags had a lot of missed opportunities, especially in the end zone, when Trevor Lawrence is doing everything he can to launch into the end zone and his receivers keep dropping it. Drake May had a pretty good game last week. Um, That was his first start as a Patriot, his first start in the NFL. He looks pretty solid. You know, rookie. But I'm going with the Jags here solely because experience and they look like they suck less. Um, It's going to be a close game, but I'm going with the Jags here. Just because Trevor Lawrence, I'm hoping, can bounce back from this. Then we got the rest of the Sunday games. The Seahawks going to the Falcons. I'm going with the Falcons here. The Seahawks started out 3-0, then dropped three in a row. Geno Smith is leading the league in passing yards, but that Falcons team looks pretty damn impressive. And Kirk Cousins, he looks like he's it again. And what did I say before? A good Kirk Cousins is fun to watch. They're going to have a lot of motivation bouncing back after beating a pretty sad Panthers team. So I'm going with the Falcons on this. They, 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 they look like they have the better solid team. Then we got the Titans going to the Bills. And I'm going with the Titans. I'm kidding. The Bills. <laughs> Out of all the people who are, who are choosing between this game, only 1% are going for the Titans. And I don't even think Titan fans are going for the Titans this week. It's the Bills. What do you want me to say? The Titans fucking suck. That's all, that's all I have to say. Also, the Bills just got Amari Cooper from the Browns. So that's going to be really funny to see as well. Um, they're going to be able to whoop more ass to the tit- on the Titans. And the Bills are going to hopefully build up their team to be able to take down the Chiefs. Because someone has to do it. Please. It has to be the Bills or the Texans. There's no other team who can do it in the AFC right now. Then we got the Bengals taking on the Browns. Bengals. The Browns are fucking pathetic. I, I- I'm... I think they are the worst fucking team in the NFL. They're the worst team I've seen in a few good years. Even worse than last year's Panthers. Because at least they were able to make some stuff happen. Oh my god, this Browns team fucking sucks. Their defense, you know, they kept it close last week. But I think that's more on the incompetence of the Eagles and Nick Sirianni. But at least the Bengals are competitive. At least the Bengals can be fun to watch. Joe Burrow is doing his absolute damnedest to to make this team win. And um, I don't know if you guys watch Gridiron Heights. It's a show that Bleacher Report does. They make little animations every week for the NFL. They made Joe Burrow say, I have to score 100 damn points in order for this team to win. He's sad. It sucks. And um, maybe he was a little cocky in the beginning when he iced his hair all white and shit. Made him look stupid. But um, he, he is a competitive quarterback. And... I have said before that Joe Burrow is not going to make another Super Bowl just because the rest of the AFC is so stacked. But you know what? Trade him to another team and he will win. Give him a better defense. 
Because he has a supporting cast on the offense. Just give him a better fucking defense. Trade him to another team. That's how he's going to win another Super Bowl. Not with the Bengals. And even go to another Super Bowl. Not with the Bengals, with another team. So I'm going with the Bengals on this because the Browns are fucking awful. They look like one of the worst teams I have ever seen in football. Ever. They're not competitive. They're fucking sloppy. Get Deshaun Watson out of there. That God. He, he's awful. He hasn't been himself for three fucking seasons. And he's, he has all those allegations against him? Come on. That has to go down as one of the worst fucking deals in all of football. Actually, in all of sports. Then we go on to the Texans taking on the Packers. This is pretty close, actually. I, I, I was very conflicted on this because these two teams are very damn fun to watch. But my gut is going to tell me to go with the Packers on this. I, I don't know. I, I, I just think, I really think it's going to be an upset for the Packers here because the Texans look very damn good. They only have one loss. But there's something about Jordan Love that I think is going to really make him a gunslinger. That's going to really make him one of the stars of the NFL. And, and I, I really like this Packers team. And without Aaron Rodgers, I think they're doing pretty damn good for themselves. It's going to be a battle of offense this game. I'm going with the Packers. It's it's oh, it's going to be a very close. This might be the best game of the week. Packers. Then we got the Dolphins going up against the Colts. Um, who did the Dolphins beat for these two wins? Did they play last week? The Dolphins have two wins. How do they have two wins? I need to look up the Dolphins real quick because this team's... Oh, they beat the Patriots. And they beat the Patriots last week. That's right. No, not last week. They had a bye. They beat them before. I forgot. I I hate when teams have byes and then I forget they exist and I forget what their last game was. But the Dolphins had a bye. They beat the Patriots. And honestly, the Patriots should have won. But this week, they played the Colts. And... Joe Flacco is yet again starting for the Colts. Um, God damn, Joe Flacco's awesome. I, I fucking love Joe Flacco. I loved watching him as a Raven when I was a kid. And I still love watching him now. Um, the Colts, come on. The Dolphins are fucking pathetic. They're sad. There's, Come on. What am I supposed to say here? Without Tua, the Dolphins fucking suck and they can barely win a game. No one is allowed to say that Tua Tagovailoa sucks anymore. The Colts, all the way, baby. The Colts are going to fucking demolish the Dolphins. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zach, my brother. But that That's what's going to happen. Then we got... Actually, I said before that the Texans-Packers game is going to be the best of the week. No. The Lions and the Vikings is going to be the best game of the week. Oh, my God. I'm going with the Lions on this. I'm going to Lions to hand the Vikings their first loss of the season. You know why? Because that damn Lions team is so damn fun and gritty to watch. They have a very imaginative passing play call. And they have a very damn strong run game. And the Vikings, I think they're just, they're, they're just due for a loss right now. Especially against an electric Lions team like this. I really like Sam Darnold this season. Um... But I, I think coming off of a win like this for the Lions against the Cowboys, a very convincing win. Not just convincing, but they obliterated the Cowboys. I think that's going to be enough to really motivate them even more to take down an undefeated team like the Vikings. And the Vikings have had some pretty close games, but the Lions look like they've just dominated most of their games. So I'm going with the Lions on this. It's going to be very close, I think be a very strong offensive battle but the Lions and didn't the Vikings just pick up someone let me see who the Vikings picked up Uh, I saw this the other day on the NFL the Vikings picked up oh shit Uh, not important load damn it I swear the Vikings picked up someone the other day they picked up Cam Akers from the Texans uh, so that might help them out a bit. But I'm still going with the Lions. The Lions just have one of the best run games right now. Very damn fun to watch. 
Then we go on to what looks like is going to be a very ugly game because of how these two teams have played so far this season. The Eagles taking on the Giants. I'm going with the Eagles because they look less sad. Why, why do the Giants do this to me? Every time that they look competent and every time that they don't lose in a super embarrassing fashion or they barely win, I go, yeah, the Giants, they're, they're not that bad. And then they just fucking, and they, they make me sad. They make me sad to watch. And I feel bad for Giants fans because they haven't had a good team since. I don't care if they went to the playoffs a few years ago. They haven't had a good team since fucking Eli Manning was there. <laughs> um, or they haven't had like a really solid team since fucking Eli Manning was there. Yeah, they went to the playoffs a few years ago, but, you know, you play in one of the weirdest divisions in football. Um, I'm going with the Eagles because they look less sad. They look like they have a better offense, just a better team all around. But it's going to be a very stupid, ugly game, I think. It's going to be a very stupid, close, and ugly game. Then we go on to, shit, the Raiders taking on the Rams. I was actually thinking of going to this game a while back. I was actually thinking of going to the Raiders, uh, the Raiders Chargers game, but looking back on that, I would have been pissed off if I went because we lost. But Raiders Rams, um, I'm going with the Rams. My Raiders fucking suck. I can't, I, I can't sugarcoat it. We fucking suck. We had one fluke win against the Ravens, and we had a we scraped by against the Browns. Every other game we've lost has been embarrassing. The Chargers was embarrassing. The Broncos was embarrassing. The Steelers was very embarrassing. And losing to the fucking Panthers was embarrassing. The Rams, on the other hand, they are dealing with a bunch of injuries. Not as many injuries as, like, actually, no. They look like one of the most banged up teams right now. But I'm going to say experience is going to, you know, they, they do run some pretty fun plays. They are coming off of a bye, so they are pretty well-rested. I think they are going to take on the Raiders in a... I'm going to call it a pretty close game. Maybe within a score. Within seven. It's going to be an ugly game, but I think the home field advantage of the Rams is going to help them out a bit. Um, I still like Sean McVay as a coach. Matthew Stafford is pretty damn good. Actually, let me look up this fun fact about Matthew Stafford. Uh, You guys aren't going to believe this. Let me go to his career statistics. If Matthew Stafford wins this game, he will have his 100th career NFL win. And he's been in the league since 2009. This is his 15th season. He will be 100, 111, and 1 if he wins this game. And he has a Super Bowl. I've always liked Matthew Stafford. I always thought he was a pretty damn good gunslinger. But yeah, I'm going with the Rams on this. They're gonna, they're gonna beat the Raiders. Sad. My my team fucking sucks. Nothing is working out for us. What our running back Madison is that his name? Let me look him up. The Raiders, Steelers, games. Look, click on that. And then the the player stats. Raiders. Yeah, Madison. He. He looks good, but they, him and Abdullah look good, I guess. But um, it's our offensive lines. It's same ish, the same fucking problem every week. Our offensive line sucks. We can't get the run game going. Consequently, we can't get the pass game going. We look like we'll have one solid drive and then crap out for the rest of the fucking game. We're, we're going to waste the talents of Max Crosby. We already did with Devontae Adams. It's just the fucking Raider way. Then we got the Panthers taking on the Commanders. The Commanders, Jaden Daniels, looks really damn good. Um, what, what did he What did he do against the um, the Ravens? Because he had a really solid game from what I saw. Yeah, 24-35, 269 yards and two touchdowns. Um, th- the kid's great. I, I, I'd call him top 10 right now. He's really damn good. The Panthers, on the other hand... Um, Andy Dalton couldn't get it going last week through a pick six, I think. What do you want to say? It's the Panthers. They fucking suck. They're awful. Commanders are electric. They're going to win. Then we got the Chiefs taking on the 49ers. Now, these are two teams I fucking despise. 
The Chiefs are a AFC West rival. And the Niners w- were the Bay Area rival. So the outcome of this game is I'm going to fucking hate it anyways. I want to tie. I hope these two teams can be as incompetent as possible and tie. The The Chiefs are coming off of a bye week. The Niners are coming off of a win. Who did the Niners play last week? Well, why do I forget this shit? Oh, yeah, the Niners have a pretty good rest coming off against a win against the Seahawks. I'm going with the Niners on this, begrudgingly. Um, but I hope both teams are fucking pathetic and they just keep fumbling and throwing picks and missing field goals. And I hope that it's just a 3-0 win from the Niners. <laughs> I fucking hate both of these teams with a fucking burning passion, if you can't tell. I mean, Patrick Mahomes looks unstoppable, except that he's throwing a pick every single fucking game. Uh, remember that year when Matt Schaub kept throwing pick sixes um, in in like the first half of the year? That was pretty funny. But it's like the opposite with this, except it's just Mahomes throwing picks every game instead of pick sixes. Um, the Niners, they, you know, dealing with a bunch of injuries still, but they're still rattling out wins regardless. And I think it's that you know, relentless drive that's going to make them win this game. I don't have a whole lot to say. I just fucking hate both of these teams. Then we got what looks like to be a pretty fucking ugly Sunday night football game. Not as ugly as last week's Sunday night football game. That was a 17-7 win. But this is going to be the Jets taking on the Steelers. The Jets. Aaron Rodgers. He, um... Why? Why? He, he looks solid. Right? and th- But then they can't fucking win a game. It's almost as bad as when they had Zach Wilson last season. And, you know, I'm pretty sure if Aaron Rodgers, you know, was playing last year, I think he had the perfect setup. But they lost some key components, and then it's just a year of, oh, crap, we know what they're running because they had Zach Wilson in. I didn't expect this Jets team to be 3 and 3. And I kept going back and forth thinking like, "Oh, they they're going to be scary because they're beating up on bad teams and then they lose to teams like the fucking Broncos." <laughs> Come on. And then they got whooped by the Niners in what, what week 1. Stop putting this damn Jets team on primetime, please. They're not going to do shit. The Steelers are going to run off of magical bullshit. They're going to come off they're coming off of of a pretty good win against the Raiders. But Mike Tomlin is thinking, oh, um, I, I might have Russell Wilson start. Why? Justin Fields has been doing fine for himself. They have a 4-2 and record. He hasn't been making a lot of mistakes. He, he hasn't looked incredible either. He's just making the plays he needs to make. And he's barely making any mistakes. Yeah, he should have had a pick last week because of that bullshit roughing the passer call. But... Keep Justin Fields in. Show confidence in that young man. Because the Bears really fucked him over by being the Bears. Uh, the Jets, on the other hand, they just acquired Devontae Adams from the Raiders. They swindled us. They're, they're paying the rest of his contract. And they gave us a third round pick. But depending on how Adams performs, it will become a second. I mean, we didn't have to do him a favor. We could have sent him to the fucking Jags for all we care. But that's how the game works. I don't think it's going to be enough, though, because people keep dropping passes. Aaron Rodgers is going to throw interceptions. What He's had that long bomb to Mike Williams, but because it was maybe underthrown and maybe because Mike Williams had to pivot his body back and fell down and that was picked off, maybe that's why they lost. I don't know. But also, there was that controversial play where it could have been a fumble where, where Rodgers you know, had that forward pass, but then it was down. And then the ball fell out of his hand when he got hit. The game could have been over there. And then he wouldn't have had to blame Mike Williams by, going, by thinking like, oh, well, because no receiver knows exactly how I think. So I need them to do exactly what I want them to do because I'm uh, I'm the best quarterback right now. He, uh, Aaron Rodgers is not even top 10. I don't even think he cracks top 15 right now. From just this lackluster play, you expect more from him. So I don't think firing Robert Sala was going to solve all of their problems. Yeah, they demoted Nathaniel Hackett to not play call. 
Why was he play calling in the first place? He's Nathaniel fucking Hackett. Did you see him with the Broncos? And I get it. He's Aaron Rodgers' buddy from when he was on the Packers. But come on. Um, I don't think acquiring Devontae Adams is going to save them. Steelers are going to take this game. I think it's going to be a pretty easy win for them. They're not going to play down a competition this week. And if you do, I'm going to be very upset, Steelers. Beat the Jets. Then we got the fucking doubleheaders again on Monday Night Football. But at least these games look like they're going to be okay. Or actually, this first one, this, the second one might be sad. We got the Ravens taking on the Buck of Buccaneers. So both these teams coming off of pretty impressive wins. Um, they're both 4-2. and two. The Bucks had a pretty strong start. The Ravens didn't. And the Ravens um, bounced back from that pretty ugly start, 0-2. They rattled off four wins, right? Yeah. Lamar Jackson looks really damn good. That offense is just really damn good. They can utilize Derrick Henry really damn well. The Buccaneers, on the other hand, Baker Mayfield uh, had a few picks last week. He had one pick that was on him. The other picks were just, um, they bounced off of his receiver's hands. And that defense really, you know, swallowed up the fucking, the Saints. Especially in the second half. The first quarter in the second half of the game is when that Bucks defense really, um, really helped them out. And Baker Mayfield, I still really like Baker Mayfield. But... Uh, it's going to be no contest. The Ravens look almost unstoppable. They they look so damn good. Ravens. Then we got the other Monday Night Football game. Fucking Chargers and Cardinals. What do you want me to say? Chargers. I mean, hate them, but they look good. Um, What? They're 3-2. and two, Coming off a pretty good win against the Broncos. The Cardinals. They look kind of sad. That's it, Chargers. So anyways, those are my week seven picks for the NFL. Boys, let's go. Actually, let me say who's on the bye this week. NFL week seven bye. Um, I just, I want to do this just so I can say like, hey, here are all the buys this week. And so you don't, so you know who's not going to disappoint you this week. Yeah, exactly. Disappointment. The Bears and the Cowboys. Well, the Bears. I mean, the, the, the Cowboys. The Bears look pretty good. They need a... They deserve this uh, rest. The Cowboys, they got to fucking slap themselves in the face and go, what are we doing? So, those are my week seven picks for the 2024 NFL season. Um, this video is going to be late. I apologize because I've been dealing with a lot of issues trying to upload my Wild Robot Transformers 1 review. So, those are my picks. Let's go 14-0. and 0. Is it 14 games? Yeah, 14 games because there's two teams not playing. 15 games because there are two teams not playing. I just want to make sure real quick. Anyways, those are my week seven picks. Tell me what you thought about them in the comments below. 15. And I'll be back with more weekly NFL reviews like this. Oh, I also forgot to say what my overall record was. Damn, there's something wrong with me. Um... I am 54 and 38. That's pretty good, I think. All right, that's it. See ya. Bye.